I had to yell at Daylin to update them. Why did it take you so long? Shush. Because, you know, uh, maps aren't important or anything. By the way, I'm recording. Hi, I'm recording. I'm Ba. Why not go home? Why not I, go home? I just wanna. There's no Gohan here. Okay, why not go Why why not Gohan? Can so anyway your story. So anyway, speaking of where I left off playing uh, I don't remember what that game's called, Mario Party or some shit. It's Mario Party, yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm right. Names are hard, shut up. So picking up. Where, oh my god. It's nothing but his face. This is this is how Wario Stadium is. It's nothing but Wario's face. <laughs> Can continue your story. Continue your story. So anyways, as I was saying. That, that's Piccolo. Piccolo is making the Yoshi noise. This is, this is pretty. This is pretty neat. Continue so the story. Was, so, anyways, as I was saying, um, picking up from where I left off. Ooh, nailed him. Picking up from where I left off last time. Shit, I got nailed. Uh, the the um. My sergeants call me one of one of three things. See, my last name is is Howard, so naturally I am called, or should would be called, Private Howard. But that's not the case because my drill sergeant, drill sergeant Howard. <laughs> so they told me I'm not allowed to have. Oh, I got the Dragon Ball. Yeah, they told me I'm not allowed to have the last as the drill sergeant. And that my name had to be changed. You're welcome, Bob. You're welcome, Bob. I took that hit for you by accident. So... Uh. So the drill sergeants call me one of three things. Drill Sergeant Howard, he calls me Howard. You really emphasize the H O part. So, Joe Sergeant Howard calls me Howard. My other drill sergeants call me one of two things. It depends on who you talk to. If you talk to the drill sergeant that's uh, in my platoon, my name is Georgia. <laughs> but if you talk to the, if I'm talking to a drill, like. I think, it, I think he's a first platoon drill sergeant. If I'm talking to first platoon drill sergeant, my name's Jeff. Jeff? Name my name's Jeff. Jeff. Name my name's Jeff. Jeff. My name's Jeff. Name Jeff. This is just a race between me and Brandon now. No, I'm Brandon. I keep confusing you and Brandon. I keep thinking you're Piccolo, bub. Because you're very Piccolo to me. I'm a Yoshi? Yes, you're a Yoshi. Yeah, you got, you got the bald hair and everything. <laughs> the bald hair. You also, got the bald you, hair. you are not short at all like Krillin. <laughs> I've seen pictures of you. You are not Krillin short. Do people think you're short, Bob? No, he's very tall. Hey, cause I was about to say, I remember you telling the story about how people used to call you like the gentle giant or some shit. Yes, he did. And then I found out there's, there's a dog food called gentle giant. There's dog food oh, called gentle show. giant? Yes. That's crazy. 
Robin, Adam West. Yes. Like at all. Yeah, I remember that, yeah. Well, the Robin, Burt Ward, he now has his own brand dog. It's called Gentle Giants. God damn it, I keep missing everything. You're getting all these power rails, but it's not helping. <laughs> Oh goodness. Oh goodness. He's catching up. Oh, oh god. Damn. No! Get it! Yes! Yes! It went so slow. <laughs> Do you want to change drivers just to show off all the drivers? Oh no. Sure. <laughs> so anyways, as I was saying, so yeah. And one of the things that Drill Sergeant loves to tell me is, shut up, Jeff. <laughs> like, one time we were on the range. Trunks has already been chosen. Oh, shit. Choose Frieza, Beerus, or Vegeta. I'll be Frieza. <laughs> like, literally, one time I was on the saying, give me some pleasure. So when you're on the range, right, and when you're getting off the range, you have to say, no ammo, no brass, weapon on safe, drill sergeant. And, oh jeez, holy shit. Oh, this, this map's broken, I you asked for it. Go! This one's in hyperspeed. Oh, you biscuit! You stole my my fucking thing. So, anyways, when you're on the range, when you get off the range, you go through what they call a shakedown, and it's basically making sure you don't have any live ammo or shell casings, because you know you're not allowed to have either of those reasons. Because you know murder. Pretty much, yeah. Not trying to reenact full metal jacket. Exactly. So, I'm standing there waiting to get cleared, and the drill sergeant eventually gets over to me. And I go, drill sergeant, no ammo, no brass, weapon on safe, drill sergeant. And the drill sergeant looks at me and just goes, J Jeff, just shut the hell up. <laughs> just shut up, Jeff. And I was like, drill sergeant, I'm literally supposed to say this to you. <laughs> that game freezes his face. Give me some pleasure. He does say, Give me some pleasure. Only one course. Only one course. Only one course. <gasps> oh, Brandon, um, Dragon Ball Super ended. Yeah. There for that. Oh, wait, wait, no, 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 it's not ended. <laughs> it's not ended, it's still going. Team is What? 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 Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Did both of me and Bob try for the skip? Yes. <laughs> oh my god. I love oh, how shit, fucking... Mistakes are made, mistakes are made. I love how Beerus is goddamn DK. I think I'm Bowser, right? No! No, I just got that! Oh my god. Oh well. I guess I'll die. Drop it, drop it. 
Red shells are not very useful in this game, I will admit. So Brandon, did you eat a lot of MREs while you were in basic? Um, no, not really. I, really? While I was, yeah, because reason being is MREs are one, they cost the military a shit ton of money. Believe it or not. And there's actually rules against eating MREs. See, whenever you're... Because MREs are field food. And they're not even, like, 100% field food. They're, they're, like, you're supposed to eat MREs, like, pieces at a time. Um, and only when you're, like, on, like, the move. You know what I'm saying? So... And secondly, there's rules for how soldiers are supposed to eat. No! Okay, you don't Brent care about did that how to me. Eat? <laughs> did that to me. Shit. What? Is so, anyways, uh, one of the. You were so close! One of the rules, uh, the rules about feeding soldiers are is if a soldier has access to hot food, you're supposed to give them the hot food. That basically means if we have access to the cafeteria, you're taking us to the god. Yeah. I thought you ate a lot of MREs at, um, um, I, uh, what was the thing called, not basic? Oh, my once a month drills? Yeah, your drills. Uh, yeah, okay, so the reason why I ate a lot of MREs there was because, so I go to Fort Gillum for my once a month drills, and they're not really, f they only give us MREs for lunch. Yeah, they, they give it to us for taste, and those, I called them my once a month drills, but they technically weren't my once a month drills. They were actually, it's what they call RSP. It's basically where you go when you're in the National Guard, but you're not fully in the National Guard. You're basically, it's basically where you go when you have it, basic combat training. It's the base that you go. Yeah. Yeah, really. Um, Fort Leonard Wood is actually known for feeding its soldiers pretty good. Did you see what I nearly did there? You almost fell into the track below. That would have counted. You would have to do all that check again. Uh, so, allow me to elaborate on what the defect food is. So, that's what you call the cafeteria, it's the defect. Yes. So, when you walk into the defect, you have three choices. You can choose between beef, chicken, or vegetarian. I typically ate vegetarian because... So, yeah, not because I'm a vegetarian, but because I'm fat. You're trying to lose weight. Yeah, I'm trying to lose weight and shit. So, I typically ate the vegetarian, but I would eat beef. And they sometimes would replace the chicken with fish. Which was, uh... Yeah, sometimes I would eat the fish. Not often, though. What? What'd you say? Can you not turn down a good fish? Uh, I mean, you know, the fish at base. 
I wouldn't recommend it. Oh my god, you freaking freak. But uh, the fish there is really that good. Kind of sucks. Not about to lie. <laughs> Let's watch what Bob did. Where is it? I hear it, I hear it. Go! Go, little shell, go! Come on! Come on! Oh my goodness! I had got him hit by freaking Gino. Or whatever his name is. Okay. I forgot what the jump button was near the beginning, and I felt like I, if I had had my proper momentum and I had remembered the jump button, I could have actually done like a really good uh, skip and gotten ahead of Brandon, but I couldn't. Bob. Hold on. <laughs> I was on. I was not ready. Damn. I wanted I wanted triple mushrooms. This is weird. Yes. Namek is bullshit. <laughs> I just flung myself off a cliff again. <laughs> yeah, me too. Welcome to Planet Namek, aka oh, oh dear lord, not this bullshit again. Oh, oh dear lord. <laughs> hey Bob. Mm. Guess what? Uh, that wasn't the right place. Damn. One day I'll learn the speedrun strats. One day. That day, however, is not today. <laughs> We all fell off. Oh my god. I was watching Cell. It only has no music due to a glitch. As you very well know. It's a glitch. Yeah, it's a glitch. It's due to all three engines. It, like, if we were to play with only two people, you'd be able to hear music. But it's only three players and up. Huh. This is oh the worst stage. It really is. <laughs> because both me and Brandon... Well, actually, I wasn't lost. I got lost last round and just followed the same route.
Any other stories you got? I can't do battle mode, I can't do battle mode. Uh, uh, I'm sure... I just wanna... You... Can we show off the maps, though? Just look at yeah, the maps. You can... Can you go ahead? Hit the A button, just so... My, my. Well, you can go into two-player mode. Valid point. Yeah, go into two-player mode. Okay, um... So I can, so so I can attempt to think of... Uh, stories. Why not go on? Down the controller for a minute. <laughs> Why not go on? Why not go on? Hey. Stories. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit! Are y'all waiting on me to? I was waiting on y'all to start racing. Uh, he going. <laughs> Who's going? What? Bob, Bob going. Why? Where? Bob, Bob leaving. Oh. Well, I didn't realize that. Give me some pleasure. Why does he say give me some pleasure? I, I, I don't know. You're only, <laughs> only one course. The future. With heavily bit crushed future Goku. <laughs> Yes. Have any more stories for future Capsule Corp? I'm trying to think if I have any stories. I mean, I've did so much of basic, like... Crazy how much I did. What's something from near the beginning of basic? From near the beginning? If I can get anything other than... Okay, I guess that's pretty good. Bye. As I fling myself off. App. Give, me some pleasure. Give me some pleasure. Let's see here, what did I do near the beginning? Actually, near the beginning was... So this is what you do at the beginning of basic. Pretty much like attend classes and briefings on how to be safe. How to be safe for kids? Yeah, how to be safe. Um, the medical briefings were kind of cool because. Oh shit. Uh, because we got to learn how to use. And we also. People who don't know, a tourniquet is basically a. A tourniquet is basically like. Imagine like this strap, but it has Velcro on one end and a stick on the other end. You basically wrap it around. Like, let's say there's a bullet hole, a bullet wound on my arm. You basically wrap it around the top of my arm and it prevents me. So that was kind of cool. Oh, we also learned how uh, dragging. Dragging? I forget what the official name is, but... Uh, basically what happens is, somebody wraps their arms around your neck while they're laying on the floor. And you have to, using your hands and knees, drag them across the dirt. Damn. And let me tell you, it's actually not that bad. It's not as bad as uh, you would think. I've seen people who weigh maybe 90 pounds drag people who weigh 300 pounds. It's freaking crazy. Like the smallest member of uh, Charlie Company was able to drag the uh, heaviest member of Charlie Company. It was, it was crazy. With That's that insane. Happened. Yeah, literally, 95 pound person dragging a 300 pound person using their hands and knees. Jesus Christ! Oh!
Yeah, let me tell you, man, that was... God damn it! <laughs> I knew setting all of those up at the beginning would work. Yeah. Of course, I'm not the fuck focused, I'm trying to tell you to do this shit. Only one course! I'm trying to th I'm trying to think of some f So much funny shit happened. Oh, I can't. I'm having problems remembering. Now that I actually want to tell the story. This is why you let me tell all my stories off camera, that way you tell me to tell the story. I'll remember this later. See here. Oh hey, the music is back. Yeah. It's proof for the footage. It also probably doesn't help that I'm tired of shit. Cause uh... I literally uh... Last night I only got four sleep. Then I woke up early as shit to go to my recruitment office. To be told to walk around the mall for an hour a day, <laughs> trying to recruit people. You a bastard for that. <laughs> <laughs> you a thing is that, that's it. For timeout, for that 27 minutes. You a bastard for that one. You can get me back when you come back from base. <laughs> <laughs>